Hi guys. Today I am talking to you about all about Google Calendar. Um, I know this is part 14, by the way, of my super huge series on how to link your existing digital planner, notebook, templates to Apple Calendar and more using shortcuts. So this is part of the Apple uh, and more. <laughs> um, Google Calendar, it's integral. So many people use it. It is a super robust, you know, calendar. Um, but I want to show you how to integrate it if you don't know, because I think a lot, I'm going to give you two options. I'm going to show you two different things that you can do with Google Calendar, okay? One is just very simply just add an event, um, or I'm going to give you a shortcut on just how to pull up Google Calendar, okay? And it'll just pull it up and over like you saw and slide it over so that you can add events, um, add tasks if you use the task feature, right? Um, but the other thing is how to integrate it because Google Calendar, you might not know, maybe you do, um, that Google Calendar can be integrated into your Apple Calendar on your iPad. Even if you don't use the Apple Calendar, it's fine. That way you can use everything that I've shown you in all of these videos, okay? Um, here. So here is my um, previous one. It's add view all. So add a calendar event, right? So I have um, integrated Google Calendar or I have Google Calendar. So this is, let me blah. <laughs> okay. So we want to add a new event, right? So um, where it says calendar, you can tap on that. You see how my Google Calendar comes up? So I would just add that to Google Calendar. So Erica, Google Calendar. So we're gonna do a test event. Test event uh, three, because I think I have a few of these. So what is today? Today is the 24th. We're gonna say all day. Test event three, we're gonna add that to the Google Calendar. And now, there it is. See, it's on Google Calendar. But I didn't make it in Google Calendar. I made it in Apple Calendar using the shortcuts. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So let's, um, the first part, let's just, I'll show you in case you're just adamant and you don't want to integrate Google Calendar into um, your settings in your iPad. This is just going to really quickly show you what you can do. The shortcut is titled... Add event GCA, Google Calendar. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Before we move on, you're going to want to go on my website and find this part and then read and follow along on my website. Okay. Um, you're going to want to read the information. You're already watching the video because they do work hand, hand in hand. You can create the shortcut yourself just following along and using the screenshots that I've added or you can download the shortcut from the link below, okay? So here's the link below. Um, this will put it into your Shortcuts app, so we can just follow along. It'll look exactly like what you're looking at on the screen when we get into it. But before you do that, you're gonna wanna go to Settings, Shortcuts, and Allow Private Sharing, and that will allow the shortcut to come onto your iPad in Shortcuts in the Shortcuts app. If you don't, you need to have the Shortcuts app in case you've deleted it. You're going to need that. All right, so let's get into it. This is what it looks like at Event GCA, Google Calendar app. So this shortcut, and this is very simple, this shortcut opens your uh, note-taking app and Google Calendar at the same time and slides the Google Calendar app over, as we saw in the um, demonstration. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select your app below. This is Good Notes, Note Shelf, Notability. You're going to tap this and find Good Notes. All right. Now be sure to select Google Calendar below and then check the button to slide over. So this says open app. Um, let's see here. Google Calendar. And then the little drop down button, slide over. I already have that pre-populated. So when you um, 
download the shortcut, it'll, it sh it'll already be slid over. So, and that is literally the shortcut. Then the link URL you will enter in your app is shortcuts. You're going to need this piece of information. So see how it says name equals add event GCA. This needs to match this. It will, if you've just downloaded this from me. If you've created it yourself, make sure that the name of the shortcut matches the name and the link. Um, now we're going to take this piece of information and put it into GoodNotes. If you are a Note Shelf Notability person, go watch how to um, get that into. Um, you're going that there's a different process for adding links in those two apps than there is GoodNotes. So um, we're going to quick go into GoodNotes now. And so here is the link shortcuts. You, you want to paste that in. So you have it. You want to have your um, link. I would suggest making a page in GoodNotes dedicated to your shortcuts. So that way you don't have to keep going back and forth. It's kind of all in one handy location. So I've already pasted this in and I've already added a link, but we'll do it here um, anyway. To add a link into oh to add a link into GoodNotes, all you have to do is press and hold. All right, and then it says add link. So you're gonna tap add link. Oh. Um, you are going to link it to a website and you're gonna delete the GoodNote. Oh my god. <laughs> you're gonna delete GoodNotes. And then you'll paste in the link that we copied. So it'll say add event GCA. Click return and then your link has been added, okay? And then if you would like to make it pretty, um, you can add a icon if you would like. So I have already done this. So here's the icon that I'm using. There's the link, right? Um, these icons I've made are all free to, for you. Um, they're on my website. You can download them if you want. You can use whatever you want. You can use a sticker. It doesn't matter. You can just use the link if you just want to keep it um, very simple. But anyway, so then you have this and you can put it anywhere you want. You just use your lasso tool, copy and paste it um, anywhere you'd like. So I'll just put it here for today and then click yes. And then you'll see Google Calendar will slide right over. All right. Okay. Um, so that is just very crudely, very simply, if you just do not want to integrate your Google Calendar into your iPad, into your iCal, okay? Um, that's pretty much the only thing you can do, okay? <laughs> so you know how I have, this is like, I have all these different shortcuts on reminders and things like that. Um, now I'm gonna show you how you can integrate Google Calendar so you can use all of them, okay? Because maybe you don't know. So if you want, uh, if you don't have it already, you'll want to go over to your calendar in settings, all right? So right under Siri and search, it says accounts. All right, now if you have a Gmail account that is linked to your calendar, all right, you already have that installed, great. You'll just tap on that and you'll toggle calendars and that's it. Then your Google Calendar will already be in, be, <laughs> um, it'll be in your um, calendar. So here, I'll show you what that looks like. Where are my calendars? Ah, no, that's my inbox. Oh my God. You can tell I usually just use it on my phone. Where are... There they are. So you can see these are, so family, astrology, Erica, those are all my iCloud calendars that are created on my iPhone, iPad, etc. Here are the Google calendars. So I have Erica Google Calendar, E, and then Erica GCal2, um, and then they all have colors. So you can see, so all, I, all you have to do is if you already have Gmail installed on your iPad and you click on the calendar, button to toggle it, it'll pull in your Google calendars. Okay. It's so easy. And then you can use all of the shortcuts that I have um, shown you thus far. Okay. Now, if you don't have uh, 
that it already installed. If you don't have Gmail already installed in your settings, it's very simple to do. You would just click Add Account, Google, all right? And then just sign in and allow them to work together and then it'll, um, it'll install and that's it. It's so simple. And that way, all of the things that I've shown you will work. You can add an event, view events. So, um, actually, this isn't going to pull my Google Calendar because I don't have that set up. But you can view all your events. You can, um, you know, everything will be on your device and it'll be integrated so beautifully. So, um I hope I explained this well enough. I, I think people, I, I think everybody pretty much knows how to do this already, but I just wanted to cover my bases. So that way you can enjoy all of the tutorials and you can use all of the features that I'm showing you. So I hope that helps. And um, if you have any questions, if I didn't cover anything, please let me know and then I'll just make a different video. But I'm, I guess I'm just assuming that everybody knows how to do this already. So I hope you do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.